Now for my house, I went with the Franklin WH batteries and I'll tell you why in a second. But first, let's have a quick tour of my system at my house so you can see kind of what I'm working with. Okay, so here are my actual batteries that have been in my house for several months now. We took a while to make this video because there was a couple software updates that I felt just had to be done before I was comfortable sharing with it. And this speaks to the responsiveness of Franklin. They were able to take my feedback, implement these changes, so that way you can have a better experience. So I've been able to use these for a while now and we have lots of data that we're gonna go through, but basically they are just two big boxes in my garage. They're a bit thicker than say a Tesla Powerwall because of the style of battery is what I understand, the LFP versus the lithium ion. And so other than that, they're basically just two white boxes you kind of fit anywhere. They can't go outside. For me with the ground out there, it didn't really make a lot of sense. It was uneven, it's not stable. So we put them inside here and they really haven't caused any problems. We you know, kind of fit stuff all around them, didn't really lose much storage or anything like that. So, so far in terms of their performance here, there's zero noise. There's really nothing that happens other than this little light goes up and down as you use energy. So in the morning when I come out and do my workouts, usually it's pretty low because I have a reserve. But other than that, you really don't notice anything other than you know they're sitting in your garage if I open up the app you can see that we're pulling some energy from it there's a little bit of solar energy left but mostly it's coming from the batteries right now and that is just a typical kind of day of how it goes you can see here essentially what's happening is the grid energy is being consumed in that super off peak time solar energy comes up the green is the battery it gets charged up everything from the solar energy starts to go back to the grid and give us a little bit of that credit and then at that peak hour we see that the battery kicks on and it essentially eats it from there so that's a typical day using those settings i'm using the time of use setting and i have a five percent reserve for outages there's also the storm hedge thing we don't do that but I can go in here and I can say edit the schedule. So this is kind of how the schedule is set up. We have our super off peak, our off peak, our on peak, etc. But this is, you know, we have weekdays and then weekends are a little bit different. There's also summer rates and then there's, so you can set up certain months, different things. Right now I just had it set up as, you know, all the same. Uh, it does change for us here. So it's pretty sophisticated, pretty advanced, but this is how you want to do it if you want to maximize the value from these batteries. Besides just having them as say, you know, a, a backup plan in case you have an outage. This is the way to really kind of get the most bang for your buck. Really, really good app. I really think that, you know, the improvements they made in the past few months working with them have been tremendous and I highly recommend it.